just finished and today I'm going to pick the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Baby and a Bush. Let's read. Birth of Moses and the Burning Bush. Egypt was filled with Israel. The new power was afraid that the Israel would become too powerful. So he made them slaves and treated them very badly. So do you remember the story of Joseph yesterday's story? <laughs> that Joseph has that his brother take all of his cousins so to Egypt. So Israel were in Egypt. Egypt was filled with Israel. And Paul was afraid that because there are too many of them were in Egypt. Yeah. If they're becoming power, so powerful, then they could take Egypt. So they, he made them slaves. Paro ordered that all babies in Israel's boys had to be killed. One moment, one moment. Put her baby in a basket and hide her, hide him by the river edge. His sister watched him. So Paro ordered. He was afraid, so he ordered to kill all the baby boys of Egypt, newborn baby. And the mother did not come to die. So. So one mother put the baby in a basket. You can see she's praying to God. Question Did Paro make the Israel slaves because he thought they were becoming too weak? No. Paro made them a slave because Arrows that they're becoming too strong. Paro's daughter was passing by the river. She found the baby and decided to keep him. His sister offered his mother's help to be to care for him. Paro's daughter named him Moses. So Paro's daughter were passing and look, she have found the baby in the basket. Look, actual baby could die, but God help and the princess of Egypt has found the baby. Sister Marianne called them to Moses grew up. One day he saw an Egyptian beating an Israel. Moses killed the Egyptian. Then he ran away to Midian and was a shepherd for 40 years. So Moses grew in one day. He saw an Egyptian beating an Israel. He knew somehow that he was an Israel. <clears throat> Moses was watching his sheep. On Mount Horbro. <coughs> the voice 
of God spoke from a burning bush. My people are suffering. Moses, I have chosen you to free them. So Moses was watching the sheep. And he had married. And he was like being a shepherd for a little. 40 years and suddenly God has called to Moses by the burning bush. I can't, Moses cried. I will help you, God promised. Throw down your staff, Moses said. It, re- it turned into a snake. Then he picked it up. It was a staff again. So Moses like said, no, I can't. I have like killed an Egyptian and I have run to here to get to flee from there. Like I cannot go back. But God said to Moses that, and God shows him of the miracles. How did God speak to Moses? <clears throat> Number one, the burning bush. Put your hand in your claw. God said, Moses said, he looked his hands. Was co- his hands were covered with Jesus. When he did that again, it was healed. Show Paro why that. God said, so God has showed him another miracle. I will not see that. I will do that. On his hands, there were Jesus. I will do The holy chest. I am not a good speaker, said Moses. I will give you the words, God said. Your brother Aaron can help you, too. So Moses went to tell Pharaoh to send the Israelites free. So again, Moses said, I am not a good speaker, and also so God also told him, I will give you the world words and you can go with Aaron. Oh, brother. Oh, we are found the Bible. Another Bible then. How much of salvation? Question God promised to help Moses when he went to tell Paro to let the pe- let the Israel people go. True. Yesterday I read the Bible story to the Indian and next time I'll read another good story. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.